What's up guys? Steve Holmes here with another another internet drum video. Uh, today we're going to talk about we're going to talk about the blushta because I wanted to revisit this lick. This phrase has a little bit of history with me. Um, a long time ago uh, in the late 90s, 1990s, I did an instructional video and put it on the internet uh, kind of showing the blushta and um, all the things that you can do with it because it was one of my favorite favorite licks. It was a different time and I was lucky enough to have like a video camera and the means to like, you know, encode videos and upload them to the internet. This is all before YouTube, right? So, you know, in the way that, that videos could go viral back then, that video kind of, you know, made the rounds and whatever. And, you know, it, I named it based on, you know, what, what I thought it sounded like, you know, because it just sounds like bludge the bludge when you play it. Um, I had first heard Steve Smith do it uh, on the old DCI instructional videos that a lot of you guys may remember. Steve Smith part one and two. Uh, he does it all over those videos and that was probably the first time I saw it where I was like, man, you know, what the heck is that? And then I went to, I went to Musician, Musicians Institute in 93, 94, studied at the Percussion Institute of Technology and a guy by the name of Gary Garbatini, AKA Bone, what's up Gary? He, uh, he showed me that lick and uh, man, it was, uh, it was one of those things that, you know, some of you may relate if, you know, you see this thing and you think, oh, I'll never be able to do that. And then you kind of learn it and whatever. And then of course you start abusing it and putting it everywhere. Um, a lot of guys do this lick and I'm always a big fan of taking something and doing something, you know, putting your own spin on it or, or kind of, you know, trying to, trying to do something different or spice it up or, you know, put it in some kind of musical phrase. Um, and not all the guys do that. Uh, so I wanted to mention a couple examples of, of the Blushda just on various like jazz records that I like. Uh, I'm pretty sure the earliest recording I've heard with the Blushda is from Tony Williams. And I've spoke to other guys and heard other guys, you know, refer to this as like the Tony Williams lick. And he kind of does it a little bit on Nefertiti, uh, which is one of the greatest jazz albums ever. If you guys don't have Nefertiti, then, then get it and just sit with headphones and do nothing else and listen to that record like a hundred times. Okay, a couple of my other favorite uh, examples is like, uh, you know, Vinnie Cagliuto uh, on a record called Document with a band called Charisma. And uh, there's a song on there called Aliens Ripped My Face Off. It's like a slow, kind of like greasy, halftime shuffle kind of thing. And, and he does it in there. That's It's just crazy, man. Check this out. Pretty nuts, huh? I mean, there's like, you know, he's doing it and he's putting flams in front of it and stuff. Um, and it sounds effective because it's like this slow kind of halftime thing that he plays in like this double time kind of thing, you know, because uh, he has that freedom to play it like in different fields and different tempos. And we're going to talk about that. Um, the way Gary Novak does it, I really like because he also tries to play it in cool musical ways and put his own kind of signature on it. Uh, there's a record from Chick Corea called Time Warp. And Gary does it and he puts his right hand like on the hi-hat and closes the hi-hat really tight. And so you can hear that double right. That's good, that's good, that's good. It sounds super cool. Here's that clip. Pretty cool, huh? So again, like I like when guys take something and kind of put their own spin on it and try to try to be musical with it. So I wanted to kind of revisit the blows and just kind of talk about it, and you know, because over the years I I, I still kind of you know sprinkle it in you know in, into stuff, and I just wanted to talk about you know the 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 methods that have kind of stuck with me and, and the different ways uh, that you that you can do it quickly. The basic gist is just kind of flam right left, flam right left. Uh, but that first right after the flam is doubled, right? So instead of it's the flam itself is not meant to be played flat, like the way I do it. I mean, obviously, you know, your mileage may vary, but I'm I'm a fan of kind of opening the flam up to the point where it's almost like two thirty seconds and whatever. I mean, I'm not terribly concerned with the the, the academic technicalities of it. I'm, my my concern is like to get it to sound a certain way. Um, the way that I want it to sound, and, and it has to be in time, it has to be on the grid. Uh, but the flam is kind of wide open, you know, depending upon the tempo, you know, the faster it is, obviously the less time there is to open the flam. But, you know, I, I don't, I'm not a fan of playing it like... And I kind of like opening the flam up so it's not that, it's boudat. Yeah, I saw someone do a you know a video on it, and they were talking about you know they didn't even they didn't even talk about the flam at all. They were just talking about the sticking, and they played the flam flat. And I kind of don't like the you know how that sounds. So the flam it needs to be open. It's like the meat and potatoes of it, you know. Uh, the second thing that I think is important to mention with the blush is that you know 
the left hand is kind of this driving crank. If I put my right hand on my leg and play the bludge to, you know, the left hand is like going da 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 da, and that those are the accents. You know what I mean? That those are the kind of the driving thing for me, and so it's important to to realize that and and, and to play it with that intention. You know. Um, You know, so, so getting that left hand. You know, that was important for me. Um, and then, you know, moving the left hand around and putting it like on the tom. You know, already that's a completely different sounding musical phrase. It's that guys, 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 it's like doos, do, doos, do, you know. And then like putting the right hand on on the cymbal, and then, you know, just that. You know, the right hand lands first, so it's a left-handed flam, it's... You know, it's not flat, it's not... You know, I mean, it can be, but I, I don't like how that sounds, you know? And I also like putting the bass drum underneath the cymbal, you know? You know, so that, that's like the basic, you know, vanilla ice cream bludger right there, like, just get a groove going and just play that, like... You know, then put the left hand on the tom, do the same thing, put the left hand on the tom. You know, this is stuff that I talked about in the first. That's like the basic. Uh, the basic bludge to, um, but you know, getting on to like the more, you know, the, the ways that, you know, that I'm kind of thinking of it nowadays. Um, I found it very useful uh, before getting into that to, to be able to do the, you know, the, the bludge to, you know, reverse sticking. So instead of, you know, you know, for every right, it's the left and for every left, it's the, it's, it's the right hand. And at that point, the right hand is driving those gas, 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 gas. And so as a result of that, I could put the right hand like on the floor tom and on, on this tom and put the left hand, you know, kind of wherever I want. I would come up with like one bar phrases and and, and just kind of you know try to you know blah da blah da 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 you know So that last one was a good example was a good example of like you know kind of a musical phrase, but you know but playing it with you know the regular sticking and the reverse sticking um, because you get the benefit of you know my right hand can go over here or or my left hand can go over here for those accents we talked about you know the gas ga 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 you know and, and those are over eighth note triplets you know so if you just kind of get triplets going and you can do like you know mix the bludge up with like flam rolls you know like the wide open flam i was talking about and instead of just flam right right you can do flam right right left left and just kind of keep it going so it's instead of like bludge it's like bludge <laughs> you know so that's the sticking and so i just kind of you know in my head i would hear like bludge da bludge ba bludge da bludge ba and i'm like well how do i extend the bludge you know so You know, so at the end there, it's like right, right, left, left, you know? There was another one that I liked that was like, uh, that was one that I heard in my head. And so I'm like, well, how do I do that? You know, it's like a, you know, bludge, which is like the flam, right, right, left, left. And then, you know, da bludge and.
again, it helps to slow this stuff down and kind of, you know, play it in real time, but like the slow motion version so that I can spoon feed with the stickiness to myself while I'm doing it, you know? Let me improvise some more over triplets with the blush dip. You know, it's just different variations of mixing in like five stroke rolls and flam rolls and blujdas and jump starting a phrase and trying to complete the thought, you know. And again, you'll notice that the quarter note is always going with my left foot because it's important for me for this stuff to always be like in time and on the grid, you know. Let's talk about playing it over 16th notes, right? So that would be over the dotted eighth and <clears throat> without like putting blujdas, it's like one, two, up with a musical phrase using the blushes and the blush does and put them together and slow it down until you're playing that phrase you know don't don't deviate from it you know uh, the goal is to be able to improvise with this and so so if, you, if you're trying to improvise in a language you have to learn the language and so just start with one line and just do it over and over and once you once you can really do one of these phrases the goal the, the key to getting to another phrase is to vary the first phrase so instead of like, you know, A and B, it's like A and like A variation and variation of A turns into B, you know? You expand upon an existing thing and then that thing changes so much that it turns into its own thing, you know? So let me improvise with the Blizzda over 16th notes. So you can hear right there, you know, stumbling upon a theme, kind of expanding upon a theme. You know, if you can't get to that level, then just pick something simple, you know? You don't have to do blushter for the whole bar, you need blushter for like half the bar, you know? Blushter, blushter, da 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 Come up with a phrase, play the phrase, and if you can't play the phrase, dissect it one quarter note at a time. Like, what's the first quarter note of this? What's the first two quarter notes? Okay, and now what are the first three quarter notes? What are the what are all four? And write it out if you have to. You know, you don't even have to write out all the little diddles and doubles, you know, just write out 16th notes and put the accents in the right place. You know, sometimes that helps me, like taking out the doubles, taking out the, the fast stuff. And just playing the accents and it's like 60 notes and accents only, you know, like that, 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 Play, you know, the, the blizzard without the double, you know. Um. You know, and then when you get there, you know, put the double in. And then when you get the ability to improvise with this, I mean really improvise, then you can apply it to different time signatures, you know, because singing a, singing a phrase in five or seven is the same thing as singing a phrase in four. One, two, three, four, five.
know, or like if you're playing in seven, for example, you know, if you're like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One other thing I wanted to mention was playing, you know, kind of playing a blushta, but instead of both of those accents from the left hand, I put like one on the hi-hat or something, you know, so instead of blushta blush, it's blush whatever you put your left hand on, so the hi-hat for example, so. You know, and I, I like to do like one instance of those, you know, it's like a mini blush, like a little single serving blush. You know, that kind of thing. Again, this is what I'm hearing. Blaz that's blah blah blah. You know, and I'm putting that at the beginning of the bar, you know. Uh, you can put it anywhere you want. Again, it's just getting the freedom to come up with a phrase that you like, be able to play it wherever you want, at any tempo, in any feel. Really, that's it. That's improvisational freedom, and that's the goal for me. Okay? You gotta keep working, you gotta keep practicing, don't get frustrated, don't crush your doubles. You know, don't, don't, don't rush it. Don't play it at a tempo that's too fast and then wonder why you can't do it. Like you gotta slow down, get that intended sound, you know? And if you can't do it, remove notes until you can. And when you can do that, put the notes back. That's the formula, that's how you do it. Keep practicing, my name's Steve Holmes. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe, click like, click thumbs down if you didn't like it. Um, leave a comment, let's talk about this stuff, okay? I'm here. And I'm obsessing on this stuff, so I'm happy to just, you know, talk drums and talk licks and, and whatever you guys want to do. I'm available for Skype lessons now. I've got Skype and Wi-Fi happening here in the drum shed. So if you guys want to get some one-on-one -on -one time with this or any other topic, let's do it. Let's have some fun. Let's talk about drums. Let's get you to the next level. All right, I'm Steve Holmes. Thanks for watching. Have fun with it. And don't hurt anybody with the blizzard. It's not a toy.